Yeah, so I think that checkpoint inhibitors should be used in the management of advanced anal cancer patients. There have now been two studies that have looked at PD-1 inhibitors uh, and demonstrated significant benefit. And at this meeting, uh, the uh, Keynote 158 study uh, demonstrated the effectiveness of pembrolizumab in advanced anal cancer patients. So this was a study that looked at patients who had received at least one prior line of therapy for metastatic disease um, and treated patients with pembrolizumab at the flat dosing every three weeks. And although the response rate was not high, it was about 10.7% overall. Um, in the pdl one positive pr patient population, it was like 14% or a little bit more than that. And, but there was also activity in the pdl one negative population, about 3.5%. In addition, the progression-free survival, although there was a quite a, you know, a steep drop off initially, there were patients that did receive benefit and that it also resulted in a fairly good overall survival benefit. We saw that similarly with the nivolumab um, drug in a single, eight, a single arm phase two study run by Dr. Kathy Ang. And so I think this is now yet another study that sort of confirms the benefit of these drugs in the advanced setting, but it also provides continued rationale for the movement of these drugs into the earlier lines of therapy. And both Kathy Ang and Lakshmi Ragdev have um, studies looking at immune checkpoint inhibitors in the curative intent setting. And I think that this is really where these drugs may be most effective. Um, and so we look forward to these earlier lines of therapy utilizing the checkpoint inhibitors. But in my mind, I think they are very much an important part of second line therapy options for patients with metastatic disease.